we have a four wheel drive shop and this is the choice of tools. You're on the no video, video Doug. dude. <laughs> oh man. Doug doesn't want a video. Well, it's Wednesday about nine o'clock and we're going up to the Rubicon to weld a link mount on a JK. So we'll see how that goes. Doug doesn't want to be on video, but what, what, what did we just do, Doug? We got launch. Yeah. We got Panera. What, so what, oh, is healthy. that Panera? Yeah. yeah. What did, uh, what did you get there at the old BK? Uh, just junior, just a junior Whopper. Four Whopper Juniors. Yeah. I got, uh, four Rodeo Cheeseburgers. And, uh, it's time to go. Lunch. Served. Well, we just got out of the welding supply shop because we decided to get a couple of sticks of 7018 just in case some wire for the ready welder and uh, Doug's already eating lunch it's only 1045 so off to the Rubicon we go here we are in Georgetown just filling up the tank before we head in the 392 got a welding helmet some batteries jumpers Doug's in there gonna go ahead and get some ice for our drinks and uh, head on up to the Rubicon. Is this Loon? This would be Loon Lake, you know. Here already. Already here. And uh, it's, it's noon. We stopped for food and uh, supplies. So uh, coming across the dam here at Loon, we're going to air down to about 15 PSI. And we're going to try and make some time. We'll get it on right now. Well, there's a spillway we're headed in and we were going to take the upper half doors off but the AC is blowing so ice cold that uh, Doug and I decided to just enjoy the weather <laughs> inside here. It's uh, 1230 and we've already made it to the slabs. Uh, normally we would stop at the beer tree for a beer but uh, Doug and I, you know, we're professionals here. And drinking on the job would not be, you know, Okay, so we're gonna get in there and find this Jeep, get it fixed. We, we could at least gas it a little bit on the slab, huh, Doug? Oh yeah. Whoa, whoa, easy. Oh, that's fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not bad. Well, we've passed now. How many vehicles do you think we've passed, Doug? Uh, at least ten. At least ten, maybe fifteen. Uh, everybody's kind of pulled right over except for this last group. Uh, they were from Texas and Arizona. So a lot of people from out of state. And the vehicle we're going to fix apparently is from Texas. Target acquired. You ready, Doug? What's the name of the Jeep on it? It's, uh, it's the Petrol... Pedro's Poor. Pedro Poor? Petrol Poor. Nice. Does that mean it gets bad fuel mileage? Yeah, I guess. All right, let's go fix it. First thing we do, Doug, is in case we need to do some break dancing. <laughs> the hammer and the crescent wrench are gonna be key, huh? Yeah, this thing's... Fast. Oh, we're gonna use that new thing at the yard sale? Hopefully. That thing's Chinovian. No, it's Crescent brand, isn't Crescent? Oh, is it? Is that good? I think Crescent. Wait, we, we're, we have a four-wheel drive shop. We come all the way out here and this is the choice <laughs> of tools. Well, this is all we use at the shop too, though. So. <laughs> this thing's first. You just, you got the granite anvil out. <laughs> Straighten out the tabs. Actually, that worked pretty good, Doug. There you go. We'll bend just the right amount of caster into it, you know? Absolutely, we don't want the alignment to be out. What do you got going, Doug? We got the 12 volt. Made in China for sure. Oh, Electric hydraulic jack. Definitely made in China. <laughs> <laughs> Gloves. Oh my gosh. The lift height on this old girl. Oh, 14 inches. Nice. When you unscrew it seven, I think it has seven inches up. Yeah. You don't lose your remote. <laughs> so you're gonna use that just to support the, the... Pin it right in place, you know? Yeah, oh yeah, genius. Hit, hit the manual control. Oh, you're doing the manual override? Yeah, why not? Yeah, very nice. It's not the fastest one, it's gotta be seven tons, you know? <laughs> How many tons? Uh, 
Or maybe 7,000. So what's that? Three and a half tons? If you do the math. Oh, that's putting it right in place, huh, Doug? Yeah, I think so. Oh, look at that. You think Andrew's going to notice I took oh, his gloves from work? Or... Did you steal those? <laughs> hey, when we're done, let's film with dirt. They're so small, though. They, they barely fit. You know what they say about a guy with little hands? Small gloves, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hook the lead up. Okay. So let's make sure you're live. So. All right, we got the green light. Is it on? Yeah. Okay, so. All right. dancing cardboard right there to the front you know do you know any good moves yeah. i know the lay down and weld the, oh the lay down and weld oh i think that's what that the lady from uh australia <laughs> did in the olympics <laughs> you just set it on auto down Remember yeah that? yeah yeah Just kind of wind it back in. Oops. There we go, we're down. Let's thread it out. Can't lose the special rubber pad. Here we go. How about that, Doug? Right in. Hey, Doug, what is that over there? I don't know. This is the second recovery in one week with a manual transmission. I think America's coming back. <laughs> Made by Fiat though. I don't know how I don't know how that works. <laughs> Alright, well we got a runner. So Doug, what's the one lesson we learned here with the fact that the key was here? Uh, if you break down, you gotta leave your key in the vehicle. It sounds sketchy, but it helps it, us out. It, and you can hide it and then call us and tell us where it is. It doesn't have to be in plain sight, but now we've already got it fixed, they're not here, so we can start driving it out now. It's not a Rubicon model. No. That's why he broke his link mount. Going way too fast. He was beating it, yeah. Yeah. Had to have been. There we go. Wow, the gearing is so tall. I thought I accidentally put it in third. Oh, you know and it's mean? in four low? Yeah, it's in four low. Oh, That's God. crazy. This is going to be rowdy coming out of here. All right. Know? Well, you know, nothing drives like a rental. <laughs> Rubicon model, you're slipping the clutch the entire time. So Doug's just nice and patient and just easing it out of here. And now we are in traffic trying to get out. We're looking at at least five rigs. Literally, we passed these guys at the beginning of the trail, went all the way in, welded this thing back together, almost got all the way out, and they're still here. She's holding on strong, Doug. The rental. <laughs> there it is, still attached. Driver side, driver, driver. 
Yep. That's it. Seems like a party to me, huh? Oh yeah. Wheeling Wednesday. Weldon Wheeling Wednesday. Well, there you go. Your Jeep delivered back to the <laughs> dirt road. Now I don't have to walk anymore. <laughs> we just went ahead and welded it, drove it right back out. So time to air up. Off we go. Thank you. Well, we forgot to eat the rodeo cheeseburger, so I'm gonna eat one right now. Here's our buddies from Texas. Wow, thank you and, so uh, much, WFO. They you gotta introduce yourself, who are you? Hi, I'm Bill from uh, Austin, Texas, and I'm so thankful you guys are here to help us get off the Rubicon. Awesome. Thanks. And then your, it's John. your rig, John, yep. we recovered yep. yours. My name is John, I'm from Texas, so Austin. This is my brother. I drove this thing all the way out here. I was sweating it because I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to even get it out of here. And I love my girl, so <laughs> it's the most important thing to me. So I, well, quick in a hurry. W WFO, a couple other people have suggested them out here on the trail. WFO is the way to go if you want your stuff fixed out on the trail. Make it happen. Well, uh, Doug and I are going to guarantee that weld about right to Texas, right, Doug? Oh, Texas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to eat my rodeo cheeseburger. That's a wrap. What do you say, Doug? It's a pretty, pretty stress free deal. In and out. You're going to destroy these guys. Oh, yeah, let's slow down for dust. Oh, sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry. Well, it's 4 o'clock, and uh, we're not going to quite make it back to the shop at 5, maybe 5.15. So. Back on the pavement, headed back to the shop, 4.04 p.m., recovered. They're headed back to Texas. Woo! We're letting the eagles hunt. All the eagles. Three nights, good luck. All done from the recovery, and we had a couple burgers left, so Blake's here working late, so guess what he gets? Rodeo burger, one left over. Right over there, the boys are working late. Rodeo burger, and then what, what did Doug get? Doug got Whopper Jr., so there's one more Whopper Jr. hidden in there, so you know, feeding the family tonight. Recovery done. <laughs>